All right, let's talk about, uh, we have had so much rain. I mean, it has to yeah. have an impact on our reservoirs, right? Yeah, literally nonstop rain, several inches of rain. Just in the last three days, we've had half a foot of rain come down in the Santa Cruz Mountains as we total everything up from the weekend. We have seen, including tonight, another one to two inches of rain in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Going back to Saturday morning, Take a look at the numbers, even places like San Jose and the Santa Clara Valley, over an inch of rain, but the, the big areas that had the most places like the North Bay Mountains where you got the creeks and streams coming up. But look at the number in the Santa Cruz Mountains as we take you into where the reservoirs were about a week or so ago. Lexington was at 47% capacity in just the last seven days now. It's up to 61%, so it literally takes inches of rain and that runoff to get down into the valley uh, water reservoirs there in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Marin water, by the way, now up to 99% capacity, and we're adding to it tonight. 55 degrees currently in San Jose. Rain uh, starting to spread into the Tri Valley from the west at 54, and some breaks in the clouds. More where that's coming from tomorrow as a drier forecast takes shape on Tuesday. Right now, Storm Ranger, that is right there. San Bruno Mountain looking at the rain crossing the East Bay into places like Danville, down towards Dublin, Pleasanton, Castro Valley, and Hayward. But the area that really had our attention about an hour ago were these stronger cells off the coast of the Santa Cruz area and San Mateo County that for about 10 minutes did have a tornado warning which expired at 415 have not seen radar detected rotation on that level since but still some pretty heavy rain rates there as the system instead of heading inland it's going to hit the brake stop and then drop south as we head into tonight. So that's the reason why areas around the Santa Cruz Mountains likely see the top rain totals for the rest of the evening and the night. But here's the better news as we head towards tomorrow, other than a few lingering showers, mainly around the South Bay, drier conditions taking shape as we head towards the afternoon. So your morning forecast plan on a little bit of rain at times, cloudy skies, but by the afternoon, partly cloudy, clearing and temperatures in the mid to upper 50s, San Francisco to Oakland, close to 60 in San Jose. Technically, there will be one more chance of showers arriving Wednesday, but this is a much different setup with the storm tracking inland. Not as much moisture around the Bay Area, so even though there's a slight chance of showers, probably not much to show for it. Nothing like the storms we've seen recently. It'll be more of a wind and cooler temperatures event than a rainfall event for the Bay Area. Now, what you've probably been looking for in the forecast for the last week or two, high pressure building in as we head towards Friday. And this time it looks like it's gonna stick around for the weekend. So as storms approach the coast, they'll continue to head on off to the north. So once the drier weather sets in on Thursday, should be with us at least into Monday of next week. But in the meantime tonight, use caution on the roads. We're still seeing those flood advisories for ponding on the roads. Still some high rain rates till about midnight tonight, but better conditions tomorrow and then breezy, drier and warmer as we head into the weekend. We have not seen that many suns in the seven day forecast <laughs> in weeks. It looks delightful. It, it does. will be nice to Just see it. Just in time for the weekend. All right. Okay. Thank you, Rob. Thanks, Rob.